Now this video is about how to attach wood for your CNC projects to the spoil board without the use of clamps or screws. One of the problems you're going into when using metal clamps is that the bit can contact the clamp, thus destroying the bit. Now the latest versions of Vectric software, their VCarve Pro and Aspire, does have a new feature where you can map out where the clamps are going to be and then while it's cutting it will avoid that area. Despite that though, I still like this method that I've been using for about the last three years. Now this method involves using three things. Blue painter's tape, I use a two inch wide variety, super glue, and super glue accelerator. Now not all super glues and accelerators are compatible. Try not to mix and match from different manufacturers. In fact, make sure you get a super glue and an accelerator that are stated to, to work together. A lot of times you can buy it in a set like this, they come together. And you get this on Amazon or at Rockler. You get your super glue and the accelerator. So here's what you need to do step by step. Step one, I put the blue painter's tape on the back of the project I want to secure to the spoil board. This is a 12 inch by 12 inch piece, so I'll do three pieces. I try to equally distribute them across the board. Push down to make sure they're secure. Next, you want to decide exactly where you want to place the project on your spoil board. I usually try to run it parallel to one of the grooves in my spoil board. So I check out the width. In this case, it's almost exactly four of these boards wide. So I make note of that and I move this off to the side. I leave the board off to the side as a reference so I know exactly where the tape is on the board. I'll put it on the spoil board to coincide with the tape I've placed on the boards. Once again, make sure you push these down flush and flat. Now the next step is to apply super glue to the tape that's on the spoil board. I try to make it in a little squiggly pattern so I get a little bit better coverage. Just a thin line will do. Next you take the project and you apply the accelerator to the tape that's on the back of the project. Now line the tapes up. And put the board down. Now be careful before you place it down because you only get one shot at this. Once the accelerated tape hits the super glue, it adheres immediately. Push it down firmly. And now you're ready to cut your project. Now that the board is really securely fastened to the spoil board, you can go ahead and run your project. Once the project's finished, I'll show you how easy it is to remove the project piece from the spoil board. Okay, so I just finished doing a 3D relief cut that took a little over three hours. Now it's time to remove the wood. What I've done was I've taken a screwdriver and I put a little tape on the end because I just didn't want to scrape up the nice aluminized bed on the CNC machine. What I do is I go between the um, spoil boards and I just lift it up. Here's the finished piece. And then I remove the scraps. Pull off the tape that's remaining. Now the last thing you want to do is remove the tape from the back of the finished piece. And that's it. So now you have an alternative option 
to using clamps. The super glue and tape method works really, really well. And like I said, I've used it exclusively for the last three years. I've made pieces as large as 25 inches by 25 inches with this using the tape and I never had a problem. Hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Thank you.